Hey, what's up, family? Um, as many of you know, 2020 has been a rough year. We've seen the COVID-19 virus come through and devastate our world, and we've seen, you know, we've seen a lot of crazy stuff this year. A lot of death. We've seen, we've seen the rise of sex trafficking and child trafficking, and we've seen the the rise of social injustice in our world. And many of us really believe that this has brought us to our knees, but I want to tell you today that. Our knees is exactly where we need to be. The Word of God says that if my people who are called by my name would humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, it says I will heal their land. I want to tell you today that no matter what you're going through, no, even if the world seems like it's falling apart, maybe even your family has fallen apart and, and, and you don't know what to do, you're at your ends, the end of your rope. I want to tell you that there's hope. There's hope in Jesus. I want to tell you that that you might feel like, like you're on the edge getting ready to jump. And I want to tell you, my brother, my sister, don't jump. God has plans for you. In the, in the book of Jeremiah, it says that the Lord says, I know the plans I have for you. They're plans to prosper you, to give you a future. And I want to tell you, no matter what you're going through today, we serve a God of love and we serve a God of grace. And I want you to know that he loves you. He loves you so much that he, he, he walked down that road to the cross and he died on the cross so that you and me could be free and that me and you could have a future and that we would have a hope. He loves you so much. And, and a lot of times we, we, we take the gospel and we make it so, so hard for people. We make them jump through hoops that God never made us jump through. I want to tell you today that, that the beauty of the gospel is that Jesus loved you so much that he went and he died for you. And that he endured pain and he endured suffering and he endured ridicule so that you can have a future. Because he loved you so much, he stretched his arms out. I heard, I heard a, 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 a musician once say that, that when, his, when they drove the nails through their hands, you could see the blood squirt. But then he says, that's why they say that love hurts. I want to tell you, this world might be chaotic. It might be, it might be you know, you might not understand what's going on. But Jesus loves you and he's there for you and he, get, and he gives hope and he has plans for you. So wherever you're at to, to, uh, right now, I just want you to know that you're loved. I want you to know that, that there's a God who sees you and he sees your situation. And, and he's, he's not a God that just sits on his throne, but he is a God that steps down into earth. And he, and he steps down into your situation and he's there for you. So wherever you're at, just know that he's with you and he's fighting for you. My brother, I love you. I hope you're blessed. And I just want you to just know that 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 you're loved most of all. God bless you.
man and wife asleep in bed. She hears a noise and turns her head. He's gone. I pray we'll all be ready. Two men looking for a thrill. One disappears and one's left standing still. Now's the time to change your mind The sun's to come Will you be left behind? I pray we'll all be ready Our father spoke The demons dying The sun's to come Will you be